Hello friends, welcome to jwreasoning.com. I'm recording this video for Sunday, July the 9th, and I'm outside. I'm not too far from a swimming pool where there's some kids playing, so if there's some background noise and some wind noise, I want to apologize. But I just wanted to cover a couple of points in this particular Watchtower lesson. Uh, just a couple of paragraphs. Notice first paragraph 4, and it says, Every day we make decisions that require strong faith. For example, we make decisions involving our associations, entertainment, education, marriage, children, and secular work. We do well to ask ourselves, do my choices show that I am certain that this system is temporary and will soon be replaced by God's new world? Or are my choices influenced by people who live as if death were the end of everything? We will make the best decisions if we strengthen our faith that the new world is close at hand. Now, overall, this isn't a bad paragraph, but the problem is the way that the Watchtower spins this, the way that the witness will look at this paragraph. When they look at this paragraph and they see things like, do my choices show that I am certain that this system is temporary and will soon be replaced by God's new world? When they see that, that means to a witness that, what do I do? Well, I don't take the good job. I don't get a good education. I don't buy the house that I'm going to have a 15 or 20 or 30 year mortgage on. Now, I've covered this a number of times and most of you, this is old hat. But this is mostly for those of you who are younger witnesses. I did a video for you talking about this very thing, but they keep bringing it up. It keeps coming up. All I can say to you is that I'm going to give you the advice, I've done this before, that my dad gave me many years ago. When 1975 came and went, and this system was still here, my dad said to me, son, you need to live your life like the end of this world is coming today. But you plan your life like you're going to die in this world, an old man. And this is my advice. I can't state this enough, friends. Plan your life. Plan it as if this world is going to continue on. But live it as if the end of the world is coming today. And this is what the Watchtower never tells you. They never tell you to plan for the future. They never tell you to have a nest egg, to get a good job, to get an education. No, they keep you on your toes all of the time. And how do they do that? With, not only with paragraphs like this, but take a look at this paragraph. Paragraph 15 says, Consider another spiritual activity that strengthens our faith. Personal study. Susan finds it helpful to schedule her study sessions. She says, On Sunday, I study for the next week's Watchtower study. On Monday and Tuesday, I prepare for the midweek meeting. On the remaining days, I work on a personal study project. By maintaining a consistent schedule for study, Susan continually builds her faith. Well, what would she build her faith in? I think it's great. We should study the Bible every day. We should open it and read it every day. We should take a few minutes each and every day to open your Bible and, and study it. I, I, I support that continually. I always say that. Study your Bibles. Continue to do that. But what is she studying? Notice the illustration here on the same page within the same paragraph. I want you to notice this picture. You'll see, first of all, at the top, the Insight books are in sharp focus. You can see them right there. And you see the Bible kind of fuzzy in the background. But what's she holding? She's holding the publication. She's not holding the Bible. She's holding a publication. This is what the organization does. In other words, don't put the Word of God first. You put the organization first, and they will tell you how to interpret the Word of God. And this is what they constantly do. They're constantly promoting their own brand. They're constantly promoting the organization. And this is how they keep people involved. They get you so busy with, well, you prepare on one night, you have the meeting the next night, you prepare for the next meeting, you prepare for field service, you read your, your daily text, you, you read your watchtower lessons. It's just, it's just one thing after another. It's not, okay, take time each day to read a couple of chapters in the Bible and just think about it. Think about what you read and think about how it applies in your life. No, they want to get you into the publications. This is what they're trying to do more and more and more. So friends, these are just a couple of points that I wanted to highlight. I told you I'd be traveling and, 
I'm just doing a few things this summer, and so some of my videos are going to be informal like this one. I hope you continue to study. I hope that the scales will continue to fall from your eyes as you read your Bible and see what it really says. Remember, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. It's not through an organization. It's not through a group of men. It's not through a YouTube channel like this, but it's through Christ Jesus. This is how we get eternal life. This is how we get to the Father. So please, friends, continue to study your Bibles. And my prayer for you is that Jehovah will continue to bless you until we meet again. Music